We work hard for our exams, study day and night, even skip our meals sometimes. And finally when the exams are over, we just want to forget everything. But soon the results arrive and we're not even over that stress, there's this big question, what to do next, what to pursue. What is up everyone, welcome back to Just Smiling Faces, I hope you all are enjoying my videos and Today we're talking something serious. Today we're talking about career advices. Yes, today we're talking about happens to me. So results are out and a lot of 12 past students are going through a stressful time deciding what to do next, what to pursue as a career, and that's why this is happening. By the way, this is not just another career guidance video, this is more like helping you understand what do you need to choose. So stay tuned and pay attention. A kid in my neighborhood came to me seeking for an advice as in what should she be really doing and we had a deep discussion on what should be done, what should not be done and how to figure that out and that's what I'm going to share with you all today. It's too much noisy. Now I know a lot of you might have already decided what to do next, probably filled forms, submitted in colleges, even got your names shortlisted in some of them. But there are a lot of others out there who are still not sure what to do next. A lot of them have decided to pursue something that they have been told by their parents and other little people. So before I get into the depth of this, I want you all to ask yourself a few questions for me and whatever I say next will make sense to you. Whatever that I've chosen or going to choose, is it your decision? Is it something that you can do for the rest of the life and not regret if you fail or even get bored of it? Because when I passed my 12th, I was just like you. I had no clue what to do. I had no clue what to pursue. My parents wanted me to do BMS because that was trending. But I couldn't make it because, because it was too crowded. Everyone wanted to do BMS. That was not an option for me. So a cousin of mine who's an architect suggested interiors. And I became an interior designer, not by choice, but by luck. But that's fortunate. That's a good news for me because I love my work. I love designing. I'm really glad I, I did that. But if you ask me, if I ask myself, was it my decision? No. Is it something I want to do the, for the rest of my life? No. Can I live with this decision without any regrets for the rest of my life? No, because that's not what I want it to be. It's too windy today. Anyways, after completing my interiors, the plan was to do work as in a job for three years and then I wanted to start something on my own. I realized that's not easy. So maybe not three years, five years, and then I wanted to start my own thing but then my parents didn't want me to do that because someone in family and someone around told them that the market is not good I shouldn't be taking that risk I shouldn't be leaving my job and they didn't allow me to do so and I never had the chance to start my own thing but now that I realized all the misguidance I got I've been someone else's suggestion what next do I fight with them or should I blame my parents for not letting me choose I can't because I didn't know what I wanted to do. I never took that little step to figure out what I'd love to do for the rest of my life. So at the end, it doesn't matter who I fight with or whoever I blame. It, it was just my mistake, not someone else's. Alright, so not an advice but a friendly suggestion to all the confused souls out there. It's okay if today you don't know what to do, today you don't know what to pursue but start thinking. Start taking those little baby steps by asking yourself every day and not anyone else I mean your parents are not your enemy but they don't really know what you want to be no one in this world no one on this planet can tell you what to do it's it's only you only you who can figure out what's best for you because when you take that decision when you make make that one decision that you want you never blame anyone else you you never give up even if you fail you get back up and pursue that one thing that you want in life you can't be just like punch in the darkness and be like Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be successful. No, you got to have something. Sorry to interrupt, but this applies to everyone, not just the kids. We all need to figure out what we want to be in life. And that's pretty much it. Let's just continue. There's always a second chance. You're, you're, not, you're never out of the game unless, unless you are dead, unless you are still moving. Unless you actually ha you're actually breathing, you always have second chances. Life doesn't be like, oh, why, you failed, so that's it for you. You know what I mean? It doesn't be like that, you always have a second chance here. Start thinking, start taking those little, little baby steps on what do you want to be. So that's it for me and me. I might not be the most successful person on, in this world, but I really know what I want to be and 
I'm gonna pursue that. So, I wish you all a very good luck in figuring out what do you want to be in life. So, hit the like button if you like this video, check out my other videos, and let me know what you think about them in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. And I will see you guys in the next video. Yeah, that's how I end the video. So, just bear me. And yeah, share this because forwarding positive is very important. It might help someone else. Share it.